Hello and welcome to a game called Graveyard Keeper. I have all of the DLCs, Breaking Dead, Stranger Sins, Game of Crone, and Better Save Soul. Um, I know a little bit about this game, but not an awful lot. This is where all of the viewers, your help, is going to be very beneficial for me. Um, like I said, I know little bits about this game, but... Uh, not enough to say I'm pretty good. So there we go. It's an ordinary day and our hero is hurrying home where someone very important is waiting for him. Uh, even in everyday routine, there is a place full of and feeling loved. Especially when you know that someone misses you. Aww. Aww. That must be his partner. And that did not sound good. Okay, so. What happened? Where is everything? Oh, just calm down. You've merely turned a page in your life. A whole new chapter awaits you ahead. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There is always a way to get home. Let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're now. Oh, you're a graveyard keeper now. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Jerry. He'll help you sort everything out. Who? Oh, so here we go. So what a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay. Let's find Jerry. So, okay, let's go. New task, find Jerry. Okay, let's go. Oh, gotta dig up this site. Oh, hold F, apparently. So, holy sod, I'm a skull. Are you Jerry? Hmm. Why would you think I'm Jerry? I remember the red eye told me that I need to dig up Jerry. A red eye. I remember. Oh, so that's right, I'm Jerry. How did you find me? Uh, the man told me that you'd answer all my questions. Good. But first, let me ask you. Who are you, and where the side are we? Does that mean how the, uh, the how's he supposed to know? I must have been dreaming. None of this can be real. <laughs> You're the new graveyard keeper. <laughs> what else do I remember? Let me think. <laughs> I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. <laughs> I definitely remember that bell and a donkey. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they could be better if I wait here. I might scare the poor thing. Okie dokie. So, ooh, we got a donkey. So, I do know this donkey can be a bit of a pain in the back end. So, here we go. So, here we go. We have unlocked a new technology and got Donkeys of the World Unite. Okay. <laughs> got to catch fresh corpse from town. Wow, a talking donkey. You can understand me. Let's talk. Who are you? I'm cheap labour. This cart isn't mine. So I have to work for the capitalist bastards who own it. Wow, okay. And I only earn five carrots a day. This situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? The bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, need to go back to the town. You get rid of this one, and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. Oi, oh, here we go, we got our first corpse. We are the Graveyard Keeper. So... Hey, what do you stare at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. Ooh, what the fuck? He's long as you the bog. But does that look I got that one wrong, didn't it? It's only small field words. But I'm pretty sure it'll be fun. It might be profitable. Uh, I'm gonna puke. Let's do it. So all these characters will probably end up with the same voice at some point. Let's go. <laughs> so, here we go. Sort of like this place feels like home. Put a body on the autopsy table. Then, hmm, what's next? Oh, yeah. Slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. What? No way. This isn't right. Sure, sure, it's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm a skull. Talking skull with amnesia. It is right that you don't know where you are. It is right that I'm a skull. Nothing is right here. She shut the cell up 
I'll do what I tell you. You promise you'll tell me how to get home? You just need to try to meet in the village tavern for a beer. Ooh. Duck a score's never lie. And then bring the beer to me. Alright, so here we go. We've unlocked the new technology and got preparation place, pallet, and extract flesh. Yes, we extract stuff from the corpses. Great. So, I'm not entirely sure how this skull system works, but I'm sure we will find out. <coughs> so, here we go. Let's extract the flesh. Oh dear, some of the stuff you do in this game. So now we've cut the flesh from the corpse. We've unlocked a new technology and got burger, sandwich, and baked meat. Yes, you got it right. We can cook the meat. And <laughs> you'll get used to it. <laughs> so what should I do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. Alrighty then. Let's take the body. And away we go. It's a uh, Joe, Joe told me to bring the corpse. I oh, know, I'm trying to pick the corpse up. There we go. So here we go. So we're going to put this corpse in the graveyard, because we are the graveyard keeper, of course. So, put you down. Wow, 90%, 95%. Well, let's bury it. So this is basically telling us that we can bury the corpse. We have to go over to this blueprint uh, here, and that will give us these. We can make a grey bed, remove items... Or create a grave site. Create a grave site is what we want to do. So right now we will put one just there. So what we do is we... Do I have anything in here? Oh, I do. Let's take those. Thank you very much. I'm taking all that. Alright, so let's grab this. Bring it down here. Let's dig the hole. There we are. Let's put the body in it and let's bury it back. There we are. And we just got a burial certificate. This is the burial certificate. I remember. Money. Alcohol. Alcohol. Mm. Sure used to mark it. A lot. Oh, so here comes the bishop. Easy boss. Why, if there's anybody wanting, you know it's him. Oh. oh. Ask him about the burial certificate. He should know something. I better leave now. Before I'm in the morgue. Oh, I'll be in the morgue. Waiting for my beer. Wow. Dear me, I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? You're going to get fed up with these voices, I'm telling you. Oh dear. The new keeper. Hmm. We've been expecting him for 30 years. But he pretends there's nothing wrong. Alright, you're gonna look at me, or you just like stare around. I'm sorry, I have to tell you this. But your graveyard is a mess. There is no way I'm promoting promoting you to cleric until you fix it. So basically what this is telling us right here is all these broken to um headstones and, and things like this that they they are gonna affect our graves. Uh our our basically gravesite and uh, what we need to do we need to take these out and fix them all up that will increase the quality of our graveyard and that is what we need and we can create a wooden marker so there we go well so as soon as your graveyard quality is at least five I'll be pleased to promote you you look like a spiritual leader and I'm a good judge of character <laughs> I'm good at everything. That's why I was chosen. To represent his will. <laughs> Your predecessor used to th keep his stuff in the trunk somewhere here. You should check it. Oh, if you want about that crate there, buddy, I've already <laughs> already looted that. Whoops, my bad. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I come here every... I don't know what this symbol is, but there we go. He comes here then. Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Why is it you come here? It's part of my duty. The unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. You know, m you don't know much about old traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. <laughs> Sounds more like Squidward, doesn't it, really? 
I have one question. What is this burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. So there we go, blueprint, bishop's choice, okie dokie. Uh, yeah. Let's just leave, bye. If you run out of repair kits while fixing the graveyard, you can always craft new ones. Wow. Alright, so here we go, here is the basic tech tree. Uh, the red points that we can earn are basically handcrafting skills, basically anything that you know takes us using our hands or physical labour. That is what we get. We've got the green points that we can earn, which is knowledge about nature and uh, the nature of things itself, basically, as it says here. Uh, the blue points that we can earn is spiritual knowledge. That is uh, a little harder until we get further on in the game to get, but as it says here, once we start getting the study table, we can study items and uh, earn, of course, the spiritual knowledge from those but we are a little bit away from that trust me so here we go we've got a stone pot stockpile that we have unlocked a gathering small tree felling and gathering sticks so basically we'll look at pick up trees and sticks but only a certain amount so i've already been in there and uh, looped all that stuff thanks uh, all right so we need to try and clean this up so let's get rid of these bits here I mean, we're not going to be able to do... Oh, as you can see, look. We've just got a little bit of green physical labour. And one red as well. Fantastic. So the more stuff we do, we need to make this graveyard look absolutely stunning. Like, I'm playing this game and I have absolutely no idea about, um, you know, things. I, I just don't. I'm not, I'm not the best at this game. I just know little snippets. So here we go, grab those. So you will have to help me out in the comments section what days are for what and, and things like that because I have absolutely no clue. So your help would be greatly appreciated. Alright, so where are we go? I've got some meat on me. Do I really want to keep the meat on me? I don't know if it goes bad or not. Oh, what's this? Is this a farm? <gasps> Berries! Locked. Ooh, oh, locked. Alright, what's this? The garden. Property and forfeiture. For commercial use, contract the tavern owner, Haradric. Okie dokie. Alright, so we can't... I know you can get mushrooms, berries, plants, moths, butterflies, and things like that. But uh, we're starting afresh. I don't know what we need to unlock to get it. Obviously, it's going to be a good source of energy if we can get mushrooms. They do give you a little bit of energy and solve your hunger issues. Hmm... Come on, where are we going? To the tavern. Okay, the dead horse. Let's go inside. No, Who are you? Them. You must be the new graveyard keeper. <laughs> so I've been told, but how did you know? Oh, if you live as long as I have, you'll probably learn how to read people too. But where's my manners? I'm Mrs. Jane, Roderick's wife. Nice to meet you. I have uh, a few questions mm -hmm. about... Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, you better talk to my husband. He's in charge around mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. He's not only the tavern keeper, but also the elected head of the village. Mm -hmm. Besides, he really does like to talk. Mm -hmm. All I can do is sell you some recipes. You've got recipes. Mm -hmm. Please mm -hmm. do let me have a look. Fish delicacies, tasty and healthy. Oh, jeez, no. Uh, sweet baking. And pies. Okay. Those all seem pretty pricey to me. Alright. So, Herodric then. Here we go. Hello. What are you going to say? So, Welcome to the Dead Horse Tavern. I'm Herodric. How can I help you? I came from the graveyard. I woke up here today and things have been crazy since then. Oh, sorry. How can I not recognise you? 
good this is good I well, need to speed up this dialogue things are looking bright from our side of the small side of the village when are you planning on opening the church I need to fix the graveyard first sure sure it's been a while since anybody took care of it so let's get down to business shall we how can I help you uh, right, I uh, about this burial certificate. The bishop told me that you would buy my burial certificates. Yeah, he's right. As the head of the village, according to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Mmm, lovely. That sounds good to me. Of course, only if I have money. Uh, what do you mean? The village is going through hard times. I'm sure, on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. Okie dokie, ask about that garden. I found an abandoned garden near the graveyard. Can you tell me anything about it? Oh, the garden? It was seized by the merchant to overcome someone's debts. Can't find anyone who will make use of it. Hmm. I can give you permission to use the garden. The last word agreed to grow crops near the graveyard. Okie dokie, oh, blueprint. Empty garden bed. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, let's just give me the details. Uh, you should find someone who will use it and said the garden belongs to the merchant. Oh, no, right. no, 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 it's a bit tricky. He has the right to rent it and everything north of the path. Uh, north of the path to the town is village property. Uh, we have a uh, dramatic community here and I'm the head of it. I see. Alright, so I basically have to find the merchant. And, uh, hmm. Uh, so, oh, so he's telling me basically the merchant comes here every uh, then. I mean, it's a delicacy, delicacy in our village. We'll be glad to buy it. Just need to see the royal meat stamp on it. Royal meat stamp? Many years ago, there was an accident. An inappropriate meat. Ever since, all our meat must be approved by the royal authority. And I don't need any trouble with the town. Does your meat have the stamp? And uh, no, it doesn't have the stamp. Well, he can't. He can't take unauthorized meat. So where can I get a stamp? Oh, get a stamp from the royal court through the mailbox near your church, but it'll cost you a bundle. But there is another way. I'll tell you. Just because we're neighbours, come closer. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. You just there we go. There's a guy called Snake. I think he has a fake royal stamp. But to be honest, I haven't seen him for a while. Okay, that's Mrs. Charm. She comes here every... Was it Charm Day or whatever? I don't know. Uh, I bet she can help you find Snake. Thanks. Uh, leave. Let me go. Oh, Keeper, could you kind of take this letter to our local blacksmith, Creswold? Southeastern corner of the village. All right, let's go Give me the note, and I like how that note was literally just following my bum bum. Right, let's go. I th think he's down here. I think he's here. Oh yeah, there he is. Look, looks really happy, I doesn't he? Hey, what are you staring at? Nothing. I'm just looking around. I think I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. You think? <coughs> That's a good thing going around saying it. May I ask who you are? Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name's Kleswold. Oh, well, well, there you go. There's the letter, Happy. I have a letter for you from Haradric. A letter, of course. Well, mate, why? And he can't be bothered to come with himself. All uh, right, then. Yeah. I guess old habits never die. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry for my nagging. It seems nagging's my new habit. Mm. Slimes again, and Haradric asked me to get rid of them. I don't know the time for those pesky little green bastards. But maybe you can help. Take this rusty sword. An energy potion. The sword is broken, but you can repair it with a whetstone on the grinder. Right behind me. You can keep the whetstone, maybe you need to repair some sho prepare your shovel sometime. If I manage to kill them, bring me their remains. And I'll spray some materials. It should be right up there on the other side of my house, near the puddles. Okie dokie, so swing them on a weapon. Does actually take energy, so does other things as well. And I want to ask him where to find metal ore. Uh, you know what? I like to wear with metal myself. Where can I find some ore? <laughs> you can find a metal ore in a swamp soil. There's a huge swamp to the west across the river. 
Okie dokie, right, alright. Let's clean all of them before the before the bridge collapsed. Alright, so, new technology, furnace, iron ingot, swamp iron. Nice. Alright, so here we go. Apparently, I've got to uh, kill some slimes. Basically, the big green blobs. There we go. Where are you, slimy slime? Oh, that didn't exactly go as planned, did it? <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Well, there you go, look. Take the slimes. Oh, and I gave him five simple amparts. Good job. Here, take this whetstone. Just show up any broken tools and it'll be good as new. So, I've now unlocked new technology. Green jelly and red jelly. You really turn those things into jelly. That is, uh, mm. Nice. Uh, let's uh, clean that spade up. There we go. Nice. I wonder if that whetstone runs out. You'll have to let me know in the comments. There we go. Up we go. It's not going to let me. For oh, 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 oh. Before I forget, I need to go back in here. There we go. It's good to know you. Uh, use a sword. Crazy vault. Tell me about how you helped him out. Yeah, have a beer. It's on the house. Ooh, nice. Right, so there we go. I've got the beer for Jerry. He's going to be absolutely ecstatic. So let's get back. Give him that beer. Can I be sneaky? I don't know if I'm going to get in trouble. Can I take any of these? You're not going to let me take... Oh, come on, game. <gasps> oh, yoink. Yoink. Oh, is that it? Oh, gay. Oh, quick. <laughs> Bye. Oh, there we go. Oh, there he is. Look, happy. Walking along. I wonder what else we've got to do, though. We're going to have to try and uh, build better things around uh, the graves. We're going to have to clean them up. We need to get that done. Oh. Psst, come here. Where you be? I was at the village. This place is so weird, but it feels so real. And everybody's okay with just appearing out of nowhere? It's odd. Shh. You're stealing my phones. Stealing. I can't remember. There's a cellar in a cottage somewhere. Must be stored there. Oh, here we go. Gathering edible mushrooms, gathering berries, and garaving. Garaving? Gurgadurgladurk. So there we go. We can now make dough, pastry dough, and bread. Uh, toast, onion, to Oh, lovely. So we're just going to hand him random questions, and he's going to tell us to stop being a smart ass, and he wants his beer. So here we go. We can now get the berries. Lovely stuff. Uh, okay. Uh, let's do this. Um, put some berries there for now. Just to tide us over grabbing these berries. And then these. No, no, no. I don't want to chop tree down. I want to grab the mushrooms. Because there's some here. There's some up there as well. There we go. Also, claim property. Um, hmm. It did say I need to speak to the merchant. It's like, oh, geez, there's a lot of stuff in here. What's that sound? Oh, that must be snake. Gate. I come here every night if I have to. 
which I'll eventually get through. Oh, eventually. There's too many eventuallys. One of these days, I'll find out which one it was. <laughs> uh, one of these days. Alright, let's lock this up. There we are. Got some nails. Well, this is probably for oh food. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I will take all of that. What have we got in this chest? Simple and tasty. Don't exactly know what we do with that, but hey Take that. Take that. Let's break as much of this down as we can. We are going to need to sleep at some point. Our player is absolutely exhausted. Can I get one more out of this? No. We need to go to sleep. Oh, here we go. Let's get a little bit of shut eye. Oh, jeez, hello. So refreshed. This is not good. Not good at all. Who do you think you are? I'm the new graveyard keeper. Hooray, a kipper. Wow. I've been here for... Hmm. How long? I'm Yorick. I'm so lonely. Poor, poor me. It's too bad you're here. Wait, no. On the contrary, I'm very glad to see you. But we do have a rather unpleasant fellow buried here. We'd really like to have a new neighbour instead. That sound like something you can help us with. I'm not exactly sure why I'm here, actually. Jerry only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick and he's Jerry. Funny. Ah, the half dead skull. That's jealous bastard. Ha <laughs> ha! You can only dream of what a peaceful rest we're having. Who am I kidding? It's terrible here, especially that guy down the lower right corner. Grave, he's so mean. Could you just get rid of him? Dig him up and throw him in the ri- Oh, throw him in the river? I'll even give you this license that I stole back when I was alive. Okay, so an exhumation permission basically Let's us dig a body out of the graveyard, exhume it. Uh, we can either put it on a pyre, uh, basically, you know, cremate it, or we can, I think it's a pyre, you'll have to quote me, I'm probably saying it wrong and you're like, oh my, you're an animal, you're horrible. But yeah, you can do that or you can uh, literally do what we're about to do right now. Um, mm-hmm, yep, so here we go, let's exhume the body with the exhumation permission that we have, so let's dig it up, apparently this guy and or girl is really mean, so uh, we're going to do the ghosty a favour, goodbye. <laughs> He's just throwing him in the river like it's the normal <laughs> thing. Oh, what do you think you're doing here? That guy asked me to get rid of this body. <laughs> so what? You know, just do everything he asks. <laughs> it's not like I could do anything to you. <laughs> He's just embodied. <laughs> Whereas I can bite you in your death, bite you to death while you're sleeping. <laughs> of course, <laughs> I never did anything like that, but because we're friends. You get my point, right? Anyway, if you ask me, the best way to get rid of a body is to burn it. Okay, how can I burn the bodies? Basically, what he's going to tell me is, basically, there's an area just below uh, where we are, uh, where the, the, uh, the house lot is. Uh, we can actually make stuff there to uh, burn them. And where do we go? The town, the river leads down to the town. Nice. So this is basically going to tell us tutorials for known NPCs. What that means is it's going to give us this known NPC 
And as right now, it tells us their wants and needs from us. So the graveyard keeper, you need to get back home to your love. That's what he wants to do. Jerry wants a beer. The bishop wants us to reach five, basically, prestige at the graveyard. Haradric wants us to talk to the merchant on that day. Oh, jeez, okay. And we need to find a stamp and sell some meat to Haradric. Okay, so uh, I'll fluff that one, not going straight to the merchant. Great job, Mr. P, doing fantastic. Don't give up your day job. Alright, let's do this. I do need to cook that meat as well. Um, I can't really do anything with you. I do have that grave there. So let's go. Can I... No, I can't dig that. Can I chop this? I can. So we do have log storage. So what we do is we'll grab this. I have been told that you can tra ooh, train it. What I mean by train it, I will show you if I get two of these. Here we go. Uh, you're not letting me... There we, there we go. It wasn't letting me do it. Get the game. Right, there we go. Let's dig this one out. And, uh, dig that up. So basically, you grab one and you walk the other to where we need it. Which would be uh, there. There we go. Ta-da! Take that. Grab that. Right, let's get rid of all these sticks that are going to be in the way. We're going to need to build a furnace uh, and some way of uh, sawing wood. Because we're going to need firewood and the likes. So here we go. Dig this out. Let's uh, just chip this away to get some stone. Three stone from that. Wow, okay. Alright, let's see what we can prepare. We need water for dough. I forgot about that. So let's go outside. Grab some water. Here we go. Is my inventory full? My inventory is full. Okay. Um... Let's shift click you in there. Put the stone in there for now on the ward. And the stone repair kit. Now I'll keep those on me. Crop waste. Well that'll do for now. Wanna grab that water? There we go. So, right, we've got water. Let's use what that will then do is put it there. So, let's make some dough. Need 21 water. What do we. Let's make that amount. There we go. We'll make six. Well, should I say, a decent amount, should I say. Because that will give us a decent amount of energy. Just keep them on us. Right. And we will... Oh, jeez, I didn't mean to just do that. Right, we're still on that day, so can I quickly run to the merchant? Run, 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 run. Oh. Because I don't want to use that farm now without his permission. So let's go. Is Green Gluttony Day? Uh, you know, I'm not exactly sure. You will all have to uh, help me out in the old comments. 
I have no clue what I'm doing. But, this is where you come in, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, to help me out. Oh, the merchant is there. Okay, there he is, down here. Hello. So basically, we need to talk to him, but he's got the hiccups. So he wants us to go here for us to go and get him some hiccup grass. And uh, yeah, but I want to talk to him about the garden. He basically says that he totally forgot about it. He wants us to pay a crap ton of money. Look, oh, 10 gold. Is he taking the mickey? That's too much. What about five? No, it's still too much. So basically, what he says is he will make a deal with us. If we can grow a certain amount of crops and bring them to him, he will then go into bi oh, business for him. So, he wants us to do something for him. Here we go, telling us about his hiccups. And we know to go and find some hiccup grass. Right, so what have we got? We got grape seeds. I don't need grape seeds. A royal fish, jeez. Golden jewelry. Yeah, I don't need all that from you, but I do need some berries. Thank you very much. I'll take all the berries. Thank you. There we are. Oh, 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 I see some mushrooms down here. Not enough energy. Okay. There we go. I think I totally looked out with the merchant. What's down here? Is there anything down here? Hmm. Swampy area. Oh, looks like I can get some eggs. Oh, there's a guy down here. Who are you? This guy must be crazy. You think I'm crazy? No, I don't think that. I'm just trying to stay positive. And you know what truly matters. What? Yeah. You think you can understand? No. Dick, he won't. Because he can't see. Okay then. Tell him sweet lie. The only thing that matters is peace and herbs and nice sweet things. Sweet like honey. Bring me some honey and I'll teach you how to make a cake. Cake is the best. Alright, so we've got to find the crazy man some cake and I've found myself some mushrooms. Oh. Hey, 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 mushrooms. Thank you very much. What have we got down here? I do have, well, I do know that you can harvest these trees. The only ones you can harvest are the ones with the two apples at the base. So there's the one, there's one, we can't harvest it, but there's two, and we can harvest the apple tree. There we go. Grab the mushrooms. Nothing there. Some more mushrooms up here, okay. There we go. Oh, who are you? Lord. Holy mackerel boy! Lord. You look like someone who desires the part of the magic world of fishing. I don't know much about fishing. Look at you. I know a whole lot about fishing. It's so relaxing and it can be profitable. Plus, fish are really tasty. Sounds great. I'm in. Smart choice, my boy. I'll provide you with everything you need and teach you how to cook fish. Nice. Well, I need a rod. Do you have one to give me? I do, my boy. I have an old one, but it's not much. Handing it over as a gift, I'll be... Yeah. Uh, handing it over as a gift. I'll ask you to bring me some moths. Oh. It's good as bait, but you can only catch them at night. Brilliant. and Okey dokey. So basically, he is telling me how to cook fish. We can now create baked fish, fish soup, fish, basically fish finger, fish nuggets, it's fish fingers. Come on now, everybody knows fish fingers. 
Right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go down here and uh, get more apples, possibly some mushrooms. I see some berries over there. They've caught my eye. Can I grab anything out of here? Oh. Nope, that's... Uh, yeah, I don't want to dig them out. Nope. Well, let's just go get these berries. There we are. There we are. And there we are. Beautiful. So we now know how to cook fish. Uh, we know how to gather berries, mushrooms and apples. So I don't think we're off to a bad start. Um... We do need honey for dig down here, so we need to do that. If you've got anything that will help me, like on creating things, making things, or, or just anything you think will generally help me. Oh, jeez, all right, mate. Genuinely help me, please leave it in the comments, because I have no clue as to what I'm doing, you know, I'm just winging it. But that's that's pretty much gaming, is it? You play it to learn it. But if I could get your help, I truly would appreciate it. It's gonna certainly make things a whole lot easier for me, learning the tips and tips and tricks from yourselves. Oh, it's gonna be one wild ride. There we go, let's go up here. I think I did just miss some berries. And I think I will take some more water while I'm out here. There we go, grab the water. There we are. And I do want to cook more bread. I need more, st oh, more sticks for bread. Let's make 14 bread. There we go. But that is going to be it for this one. Please let me know how I'm doing. I know I'm not the greatest. But with your help, we can actually start making something pretty cool. Till then, have a fantastic day. Stay safe. And I will see you all in the next one. See you all then.